YouTube is your boy Trezard and today we're open head selling and this is the end product for what we're doing. So I reduced uh, my stroke, my line stroke to uh, a reasonable small amount, a reasonable uh, size to be able to mimic his hair. I'm just trying to be able to get this um, trade. This uh, you know the first the way it is here and this hair. So um for now I will just advise you that if you're going to detail hair you should use an ash colors you know then it depends on the kind of hair really but for now this is the kind of hair we are faced with so um, I'm just trying to mimic whatever I see here now there are no one approach to doing this here there are different methods but it depends on you just do whatever you feel will fit your character more or your client more so so far here i'm just trying to like mimic his dreads trying to like get those dreads down now you can notice there's some parts in the hair here that are a bit dark and other parts that are really bright so you want to avoid the dark parts and you know just highlight only the lighter parts for now Oh, throughout. So this is really what happens throughout the video. Just trying to highlight different places. Trying to make sure I get. Trying to make sure I flow, or trying to make sure I am doing exactly what I'm seeing. I also reduce the opacity so you guys will see what we're doing now. Now, like I said before, there are different um, ways to do this, but at the end, it's still the same kind of way. So you could actually just make this whole thing like the way you saw it before, um, lasso ink field, but then later on use an um, eraser your erase tool with this um, ink here and you know like erase it's going to give you the same effect you see here but the problem with that is that you still have to go to the back and feel it or you are going to be totally um how do I put it now you're going to be totally mm, okay you're going to be totally um hooked with the background image because if the background is yellow your highlights are going to be yellow so that is why i'm not using that method so what i'm doing here is i'm just using the gray shades gray um, colors to like shade all the highlights on the head now this hair is a very very complex hair like trust me i even um I, I, i'm not even sure i'm following up properly but i'm just trying my best just do your best. Later on, I'll show you guys how to like blend it to make it more, uh, you know, make it more stable for the character. Okay, guys. So far, if you love this video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe because it's gonna help my channel. It's gonna help you to recommend my channel to people like you to, you know. Who don't really want to learn this uh, vector cartoon from mobile and on infinite design using infinite design so thank you very much thank you to my old subscribers i really appreciate you for coming back to watch my videos again um, god bless you and, uh, okay so let's write it Okay, so we are like seventy percent done. I'll say we are like sixty. Uh, you know why very soon. Oh, 
Also, another method you can use um, is kind of like reducing the opacity of your strokes individually. Reducing in the individual strokes, the opacity in the individual opacity of the strokes, and you know, using it to then highlight. I'm going to do a separate video on that later on, but for now, um, this is what I feel is more suitable for this hair. If you still don't understand any part of this video, or you don't understand how to use tools here, as I'm doing here, um, please click the um, link in the description below. you see a video there, infinite design, full course on infinite design, you know, just tools. It's going to really help you out to understand each tool I use here in infinite design. So this is the infield here and this is background I I like or want to use or oh, I'm using too but I feel like it's too bright for the image the sense that it kind of like hides his face there so I'm just gonna not look that background but for now like I said before on using opacity so this is what we're going to do but I reduced the color of the hair again, the color of the highlight again. You know, just reducing the opacity. You know, just play around with it and see what works for you. For now, I feel this is okay, but let's see, let's see. We can get better results. We can get better results. Now, it totally depends on you and whatever you're satisfied with or whatever you're finding satisfied with. But for me, in the right now, I'm okay with this. It's not too bad. It's not that bad. Okay, guys, if you have a um, um, project you want me to work on, if you have a commission for someone to work on, I email is down there in the description below. Chat me up and I'll hand you your commissions for you. Or you can also chat me up on Upwork, Fiverr. And any other parts from down there. Also, this some um, video is part of my series, or I just see my playlist: cartoon, vector cartoons on film design, vector portrait cartoons on film design. So go check that out on my profile. Let me help you guys. From start to finish. Okay. I I think I prefer this background better. It makes his face pop out. It increases the attention on you. Okay, guys, um, really appreciate you guys watching this video. Thank you, and see you next time.